Hey everybody, Vanessa Rakowski here, Tiger Lily Wellness and Acupuncture, your herbal gut doc in the house. Coffee? Do you like drinking coffee? How about we put it in your butt? I'm going to tell you at the end of this video why coffee should be going in your butt and not in your mouth. Stay tuned. Yeah, so coffee enemas have been around for a very long time, and I guess we can get into the history another time. Coffee enemas are great for clearing all of the matter out of the bowel, also hydrating the bowel, um, and also helps the liver detox. So the caffeine stimulates the liver to release bile and toxins very differently than if you were to take a pill to help detox the liver. It's very much more a direct route to um, stimulate the gallbladder and the liver so that it will dump all those toxins that it needs to into the bowel. There's a node about six inches inside the colon that stimulates and talks to the liver to release bile and toxins. What you would do is you would take organic coffee that's been checked for mold and that also is light roast and then you want to grind it freshly and you use a certain amount of tablespoons per water and I have all the instructions here at the office and then what you do is either one to two times a week. You boil your water, you strain it off in like a nut milk bag or some sort of strainer, nothing metal. And then with that, you add a little bit more cool water and you come up with a certain amount of coffee that you will put into a bucket and use as an enema. It goes up your butt. You can use olive oil, coconut oil, whatever kind of lubricant you like. You lay on your back for a little bit, then you roll onto your right side to help stimulate the liver and the gallbladder and you hold for as long as you can. Um, sometimes that's a minute, sometimes it's 30 seconds, sometimes it's 15 minutes. Usually you want to eliminate and get as much matter or feces out of the bowel. And then as you get all of that matter out, which may not be the first time you do the enema, then that's when the coffee actually can go in there and do the therapeutic piece of stimulating the liver and the gallbladder to release those toxins. And you eliminate them immediately. The first couple times you do it, it's a little like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? But after your second or third time, when you really feel the difference, you feel the clarity in your mind, you feel the energy, you feel the lightness that goes on in your body, it's, it's huge and tran transformational for sure. Unfortunately, we're living in a very toxic world where we're exposed to over 200,000 toxins a day. In our normal life, at home, work, you know, in the car, those kind of things. Anything we can do to help detox on a daily basis or on a weekly basis is huge. So there are specific kinds. You can't just go grab Folgers or whatever brands they are. I'm not a, a big coffee drinker. So you want to use an organic, you want to use a light roast, and you want to make sure that they've checked it for mold because unfortunately mycotoxins are huge in coffee, which is another reason that it is inflammatory and can make people tense, tight, and feel aggressive is because of the mold, unfortunately, that is on the bean. Enemas have been around since the Egyptian times. It's been around for a very long time. It's just not something that we talk about in our Western culture, but I'm here to get the news about enemas out to the world that they are wonderfully detoxing for the system. So when I recommend this to my patients, and a lot of them are females that have the problem with constipation, bloating, gas, feeling like they're not eliminating, like their bowel movements are incomplete. This is another piece to their treatment protocol that actually is very, very beneficial. Surprisingly so. A lot of them are a little bit resistant to it, but once they start, they're like, man, this is amazing how it's changed. It's changed my life and my digestive health. Coffee enemas.